my dear students have you ever seen this electric tree i am sure many of you might have seen this as a home decorative is it not exciting to see th these thin long transparent bright strands carrying light and forming tiny dots at the ends this thin long and uh, transparent thread like structures are known as optical fibers and these optical fibers in turn gave rise to a new branch of physics that is called fiber optics fiber optics is that branch of physics which deals with the transmission of signals in the form of uh, pulses of light the principle involved is a very old one that is total internal reflection this total internal reflection actually was found long ago but it was put into the practical use only in the 19th century through these optical fibers let us recollect in this context the phenomenon of total internal reflection and snell's law in this regard let us take two media that is air and water you know air is a very rarer medium whose refractive index is nearly equal to vacuum that is 1 water it has refractive index around 1.33 now what happens when a ray of light travels from a denser medium to rarer medium it will be bent away from the normal now suppose the angle of incidence increases in the denser medium and slowly the angle of refraction also will be increasing then what happens at some angle of incidence the angle of refraction may be 90 degrees and this angle where the angle of incidence is giving an angle of refraction of 90 degrees is known as critical angle and when the angle is above this critical angle there will be the total internal reflection that will take place that means the ray will be coming into the same medium instead of going into the rarer medium and this forms the principle of total internal reflection here the same principle is applied in the optical fibers it is consisting of three parts that is core cladding and buffer coating that is core which is having the refractive index more than the cladding and the buffer coating is used as the protective layer now in this uh, regard you know snell's law that is where the light ray is going from one medium to the other medium there is the relation between the angles of incidence and uh, refraction which are given as the snell's law or the law of refraction there are so many advantages of these optical fibers these are thin less expensive when compared to the normal wires and cables dear students with this introduction wish you to go and explore the possibilities of fiber optics further thank you